Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, hey, folks, sampler platter video series of videos I've been doing for a while now. We're over there, trying food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm gonna talk about the stuff. I'm gonna let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that at the time I'm doing this, folks, anybody else remember the old Looney Tunes uh, cartoons with Mr. Foghorn Leghorn? I feel like Foghorn Leghorn kind of gets a raw deal. Like, yeah, he was a bit of a one-note joke, you know, to a certain extent. But, like, he's a solid character, man. I always laugh my ass off at his things. And he, he's, like, you know, kin considered, like, sort of, like, I don't know, man, like a third stringer at best, I think. It's a shame I like Foghorn Leghorn. He was a dick, but he was a fun dick. Anyway, I'm over here. I'm doing a review from inside the truck, which you can clearly see. That you might also be able to clearly see. So I'm wearing a cool shirt. Folks, when I wear a cool shirt, I like to highlight the cool shirt. So what cool shirt am I wearing? Boom! Cloak and Dagger shirt! But not just any Cloak and Dagger shirt. This is the old school style Cloak and Dagger shirt. The original, uh, original comics run style. I love Cloak and Dagger. They are easily two of my favorite characters in the Marvel Universe. Um, I actually have the first appearance of them. An amazing, it was amazing or spectacular. Might have been spectacular, I believe. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, but I have pretty much all their comics. I always like weird, obscure characters, and Cloak and Dagger just totally, totally mesh for me. Even if some of their storylines were not the best. Yeah, some of them weren't great. But overall, really love the characters. Uh, it was nice to see them get some love a little while back when they had the TV series. Um, you know, sadly, it didn't last very long, but uh, at least they got something. But anyway, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? What are we doing here? Well, Foghorn Leghorn, right? He's like a rooster. But he's not just in what's like, what's the female rooster? It's a chicken. Well, folks, we're doing something from Boom! Kentucky Fried Chicken! Specifically, we've got some tenders and, and folks, because at the end of the day, I mean, chicken tenders, yeah. But we're also going to try out their, boom, new buffalo ranch sauce. You can see it. Let's see if I can get a <laughs> something close to a uh, thumbnail-worthy picture out of this whole thing. All right, we got the KFC. <laughs> no, don't fall. Ha, ha, ha. Lighting sucks. But anyway, yeah, so, uh, so, I like KFC. I've done a couple KFC reviews. I did their, uh, what was it, their new fries. I did a comparison video against the nacho fries from, uh, Taco Bell. Go watch that episode. It's an old one at this point. Um, I also did a couple of their chicken sandwiches when that came out thing with KFC is like, I like KFC, but I have a Popeye's that's about as far away, <laughs> probably going to Popeye's and KFC used to do like wacky items and stuff. And it seems like they've kind of dialed back. And really the main reason why I was doing this was to go over there and get some chicken strips. And then I was going to do test some other stuff, which I'll, I'll get to those reviews after this one. But I realized I don't think I've ever actually had KFC's, uh, chicken tenders. I get them all the time from Popeye's. Love them. But the main thing, folks, when you're getting yourself some chicken tenders, I mean, you want to be good chicken, is the sauce that you're getting. And if I'm doing Popeye's, sweet heat. Sweet heat. I, you could go over there and pour that on the foot of Rush Limbaugh's cold, dead fucking corpse foot, and I would lick the goddamn stuff off. Okay? That's how fantastic it is. This is new. I mean, I guess it's been out for a few months now, uh, but that goes to show you. Like I said, I just don't go to KFC all that often. So I figure, what the hell, man? We'll, we'll get it. We'll get a cheap overview. So let's open up the thing. Open. Thank you. First thing I'm going to do: go over there and try a little bit just by itself. Okay. I can get down with that. <clears throat> that 
is a very nice mixture of buffalo and ranch sauce. I forget what it was, but I did a review of something that used a buffalo ranch sauce not that long ago. And it was pretty clear that it, it was just a weak mixture. It really didn't work the way that it was supposed to. Um, this actually works pretty well. Like, you can definitively taste the, the buffalo and the ranch and kind of where they come together. Both elements are there. Both are still highlighted pretty well. And on top of that, it's still got that tang of the, uh, of the buffalo sauce, which for me, if you don't have that tang, I don't care what the hell you mix with it, you have fucked up some buffalo sauce. But it's got a nice tang, not the tangiest that I've ever had, but that's, you know, it's mixed with the ranch, so that's understandable. And, yeah, I mean, it's tasty, I'm not gonna lie, it's, I think they got, maybe got rid of their signature sauce, I'm not 100% on that, but I didn't <coughs> immediately see it when I made the order. But then when I saw that this was a new item, I was like, eh, we'll go with that. So, let's try it. Well, first we're going to try a chicken tender by itself. Because again, I don't think I've ever had their chicken tenders. I imagine it will taste like a chicken tender. Lo and behold. That's good. I mean, chicken looks good. Overall, it's tender. Seasoned well, of course, the herbs and spices and what have you. And I mean, yeah, it's... I wasn't expecting it to be anything super duper, you know, groundbreaking or anything like that. It's chicken tender, but with KFC's, KFC seasoning. Uh, so, if you're down with KFC seasoning... This might be the chicken tender for you. Now, me personally, again, I'm more of a Popeye's guy. Maybe I'll even do a comparison video at some point. Not right now, obviously. But, but I mean, the, the chicken's juicy. I, I can't complain about it. It's not the best chicken tender I've ever had, but it's a decent chicken tender. But now, folks, we do the fusion dance where we combine them together and hopefully go over there and get Gogeta. If you don't get that reference, go watch more anime. It's good. I mean, it's a good sauce. It's a decent chicken finger. Or chicken tender. Nice crunch on the, uh, on the breading. Yeah, I mean, they pair, I mean, it's a buffalo ranch sauce. It makes perfect sense that it would pair well with some chicken. And it does. Now, again... Going back to Popeyes, because I, you know, that's my basis to work off of. Would I prefer this over some sweet heat? No. Wouldn't even be close. This is still good, but it does get diminished a little bit, because obviously it's working with the chicken. So, you know, some of the tang gets lost a little bit. But I think overall they came up with a good sauce, because at the end of the day, you're going over there. You not only want it to work with the chicken, but you still want it to stand out on its own. And that means that you have to come up with a sauce with good flavor that at the same time is going to be, you know, pair well with the chicken. Not that, is there like any sauce that doesn't pair well with chicken? I'm sure there is, but like, damned if I know what it would be off the top of my head. Uh, chicken goes with pretty much anything. But yeah, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's a solid enough pairing. I can see why they brought it in. And I think, like I said, I think they did a good job working it out. The mix with the with the chicken itself, like I said, you do lose some, some of the subtleties of the sauce. But it's a solid sauce. It's a solid sauce paired with some solid chicken tenders. It's not an astonishing meal or anything like that. I'm not getting quite the same warm feeling that I do when I, you know, get some Popeyes with some sweet heat. But... It's good. I like it. 
Now that said, folks, would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Maybe and sure. Uh, thing is, again, the problem I have with KFC is it's just they they've seemingly just kind of decided what their menu is, and that's about it. And so I don't like I said I'm just not there all that often. But you know, every now and again I will go if I want something specific. Thing is, I think for me, if I want chicken finger or chicken tenders, I would go to Popeyes. This doesn't really change that. Like, I still think that I probably prefer Popeyes overall experience. Like I said, maybe I'll do a comparison video. But at the same time, if I was there, you know, maybe I'm on my way someplace or something like that, I could potentially see getting it. It just I don't know that it would be my go-to option, but at the very least, it's it's a good option. And as for recommending it, again, sure. I don't I don't think it's anything amazing. Not that I expected it to be, but you know, it's a decent sauce with some decent chicken tenders. There's no reason not to pick them up. Uh, especially, you know, if you are going through KFC, maybe if you got like kids or something like that. You know, it works perfectly fine for that. If you don't want to deal with all the mess of, you know, the bone in and everything, uh, type chicken. So I mean, overall, it's not an astonishing experience. It's nothing that's life-affirming. It's some chicken tenders with some buffalo ranch sauce, both of which are decent enough and, you know, make for a decent uh, decent lunch. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monumental rest of the month. Two pennies rest of your And, folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly <sighs> buffalo-tastic rest of your life. Okay, and I'm talking, like, the real deal stuff, folks. I'm talking, like, the legit OG buffalo sauce, okay? I mean, this is decent, but you know, it's, it's not as good as the as the real proper stuff. You get yourself, like, a proper buffalo chicken sandwich, that'll make your day better. Final two things, folks. That'd be interesting for them to do. Maybe go over there and try to use the sauce as, like, a buffalo uh, chicken sandwich. There you go. There you go, KFC. I'm giving you a million dollars ideas. Toss me like a hundred grand. That's all I need. I'm not greedy. Follow two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do if we can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. It's always the easiest thing in the world to do, folks. As you can tell today, maybe. I'm a little bit stuffed up. I got a, little, a tiny bit of a cold. I'm kind of coming down off the cold, thankfully. You know, but... Having a cold can put you in a bad mood and make you more irritable. I was definitely frustrated driving uh, yesterday because I was feeling like crap and I wanted to get home and, you know, head's all fuzzy and stuff. But I'm feeling better now. But even if we find ourselves in situations where, you know, we're feeling a little bit shitty, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there and you're going to get yourself some KFC chicken fingers, as I have done here in this particular video. Uh, and maybe you're going to get yourself some buffalo ranch sauce, as I have done here in this video. The hell was the other thing that I had with the buffalo ranch? That's going to annoy the hell out of me. I can't think of what it was. Huh. But anyway. Um, but yeah, maybe you're going to go over there and do it. Maybe it's going to be a wonderful meal. You're going to have a good old time. And you go over there, you would be like, you know what? You know what? I'm going to travel directly to Kentucky. I'm going to go to one of, like, the three or four places that claim to have, like, the original proper recipe for KFC. Then maybe you go over there, you do a comparison video amongst them all. Trust me, it's a thing, folks. Look it up. Maybe you go over there, do a comparison video. Maybe you go over there, do your own YouTube channel. Become way more popular than my channel. And then you go over there, and you know, it's the whole thing. And then maybe you go over there, maybe you toss me a little bit of a bone. I'm just saying. Just saying. Or conversely, just go out and get yourself, uh, you know, some some solid uh, chicken or whatever the hell you might be interested in. Get yourself a nice, uh, nice early dinner as it is for me today. And, you know, just some nice delicious sauce if there's sauces in, uh, involved. Bye.